Hey y'all, it's your girl Janique Nicole, hitting y'all with the vlog as promised. So for those of you who don't know, I am a singer-songwriter based in Tokyo, Japan, and I went on a world tour for a video game that I sang for, and this is just a vlog to kind of show you guys what it's like for me traveling while I'm on tour. So the first thing that I have to do is pack. As you can see, I was packing my dress into the garment bag, and now I'm packing my makeup, packing my eyeshadow palettes, and also my jewelry, which is super important because what's a stage dress without jewelry, right? And then I gotta pack my makeup remover wipes. Can't be barefoot on stage, so I definitely gotta pack my shoes. It's also very important that I pack my ear monitors because in order for me to hear properly on stage and for the sound quality to be top tier, gotta have that. Then I gotta make sure that my hair is laid, so I gotta have my hair products. We got sanitary stuff, we got our purses, lactate because your girl is super lactose intolerant and we just can't have no, no mishaps, you know? Gotta pack my toiletries, you know, the basics. Some sandals because it was super hot in Taipei, so yeah, that's pretty much what we wore. But I wore my sneakers to the airport, so it was all good. Got my perfume, deodorant, some downy wrinkle release spray, my shea butter so I can moisturize my body and more deodorant because you can never be too safe. Pack my dress and all my clothes too and we are good to go. Now the very last thing that I do when I'm packing is I use my luggage weight to just make sure that I'm not overweight. It's important to do that before you get to the airport because no one likes to have to like sit there in front of the ticket counter like, you know, taking stuff out of their suitcase. The limit is 50 pounds so we were good. And now it's time for us to head to Shinjuku Station. I live about 20 minutes away from Shinjuku, so it's pretty easy for me to travel to the airport because I just take the bus from here. The bus ride is about 45 minutes to an hour depending on traffic. Today there really wasn't much traffic. In fact, there weren't very many people even traveling at all, so I got lucky. The bus was really empty. And we are off to the airport. So because I was traveling internationally, but within Asia, I had to go to Terminal 2. And there are actually two international terminals inside of Haneda Airport. The main international terminal is at Terminal 3, but this one, which is at Terminal 2, is specifically for traveling within Asia. So that's where I went. I had already checked in on the app, so I just dropped off my bags. It was super easy, and as you can see, I was literally like the only person there. So they were super eager to help me and take care of everything for me. But honestly, that's just how the service is at most like Japanese airports anyway. They're super duper attentive and just willing to help you, unlike American airports. No tea, no shade. <laughs> Now it's time for me to go through security, which was also very nice service-wise. I was again the only person there, so they were super eager to help me. I mean, look at this guy. He's like taking out trays and stuff, making sure I can put my stuff on it. He even takes my shoes and puts it on the conveyor belt. You see how we can wear slippers when we take our shoes off? Like, I wish all airports did that, but whatever. Anyway, so once I was done going through security, it was time for me to go through customs. This is usually very nerve wracking for me because I just hate going through customs and immigrations and stuff like that, but it was actually pretty simple and very quick. So again, airport, super empty. There's like no one shopping, nothing, crazy stuff. So I headed to my gate, but I had a lot of time before boarding. So I decided to just chill and like get myself some food. So I decided to go to a restaurant called Schmatz. It is a German restaurant that serves like sausage and like hot dogs and stuff like that. So I got myself a hot dog and some fries. Had my little buzzer, which I was the only customer, so probably wasn't really much of a use for that, but whatever. Once the buzzer went off, I got my food. And I mean, it was really just a basic hot dog with ketchup and mustard on it, but I was hungry, so it hit the spot. Then I went to Starbucks and got myself a Frappuccino. It was pretty good. And then I ran into Emmy. That's the other singer on the tour. She's actually the main singer for Nier. So now it's time for us to board. We get on the plane. I had to drop everything and get my ticket. So there's no footage of me getting on the plane. Sorry about that. Anyway, we took off. The flight was about four hours. So um, after about an hour and a half of us being on the plane, it was time for them to serve us some food. 
listen, a and &A, their service and their food is top tier, okay? We had some oyakodon, which is chicken and egg over rice. Delicious, okay? So good. Then we had some duck with like some kind of like potato salad with nuts and um, some olives. Throw back until you tried. It was actually pretty good. <laughs> and then we had panna cotta, which I probably should not have been eating because, again, your girl is super lactose intolerant, but I was fine. Then they give you hot drinks and some snacks. So I had some green tea to kind of like help my food digest and some rice crackers. So now we have officially landed in Taipei and ANA thanks you for flying with them. Honestly, I would say that they're the best Japanese airline, hands down. All right, so we are officially in Taipei. We gotta get our luggage and we are now exiting the airport. This moment for me was really special because we never get approached by fans at the airport to sign autographs. So this was really a nice surprise. And now we're getting our luggage into the vans. They always put us in these really sleek vans to take us back to the hotel. They're really nice and comfy. It makes us feel like we have the VIP treatment and I just love that. Safety first, gotta put on our seatbelt. And now for my favorite part about traveling, which is just enjoying all the sights as we ride to wherever our destination is. Taipei is definitely a very beautiful city, so I just really enjoy seeing all the sights that they have to offer. There's definitely more where this came from as well. All right, so we're finally at the hotel. It was beautiful. Oh, this bathtub was amazing, but I really didn't get to use it because I was mostly tired every night. Ugh, kind of upset about that. Anyway, time to unwind and get ready to enjoy the rest of the day, which consisted of eating and a little sightseeing. Oh, look at that view. Anyway, if you're down to see more of what I did in Taipei, stay tuned for the next video.